Guys, Chris here, aka the Clever Guru. As we embark on the 2020 2021 school year, I want to provide you with some more insight on apps that you may encounter uh, during your school time. Now, again, all I want to emphasize this is not just for virtual classes, this is for in face, face to face classes as well. And in previous videos I've done, which I encourage you to watch, I talked about Google Classroom and Schoology. Well, now we want to break it down even further and talk about apps that are utilized that will be integrated with those style platforms. The first app I want to talk about is an app called Flipgrid. Now, Flipgrid is similar to social media platforms like Snapchat and TikTok as it provides uh, individuals with a video format to get responses across. Okay, Flipgrid uses a 90 second record time uh, for them to answer questions that teachers may ask. Now it is a great tool uh, to use um, if you want to review something in the classroom, if you want to kickstart maybe an upcoming lesson to see where students are, and just simply provide students an easier way to get their point across as verbal responses tend to be easier than written responses. So as we dive in, we're simply going to see the website, um, and here it is, where it says empower every voice. So you're going to sit there and, and basically this means that students are empowered because they can utilize verbal um, responses in order to answer the question. Now, as you see, there are, there are kids on this um, on the website, but I want to emphasize this. This can be used on up to college. It's a very, um, uh, you know, neat way for kids to personalize their responses to you know develop that identity and and also from a teacher's aspect you to learn how this kid is reasoning their thoughts and, and coming up with their solutions okay so up here i'm going to log in and as i log in <clears throat> we see uh the grids that are set up i have a test grid a grid is another name for a class um, and so, and within that is going to be your topics or assignments. So here's your test grid. Okay. Inside the test grid, I have two topics. One of them says, say hello. And the other one says, uh, which one does not belong? The, we're going to look at the, which one does not belong, uh, section, uh, in, uh, for this video purpose. So when I click on it, it's simply asking which of the squares do not belong in this box. And so. All the student is going to do is answer this question verbally, okay? Now, before that, it must show up in a platform like Google Classroom. So in order for a teacher to do that, they're going to hit the share button and they'll hit the Google Classroom button, okay? And it automatically pops up in the classes uh, that the student is taking. So if we go over to the class, uh, the Google Classroom, we see that in the classwork is the Flipgrid assignment. So if I click on it, and again, this is what the student's going to see now. You see the class, the instructor, and then the assignment. Okay, if I want to post to this assignment, I hit the plus sign at the bottom. From there, it's going to ask the student to log in with their Google account. Now, this is going to be their school email. Okay, log in, and now it's accessing my webcam. From here, to go over this screen, we see in the top right corner, we see the show topic, which all that is is showing you what the assignment is. Underneath is sticky notes, so if you need um, to provide insight uh, either to yourself or to the teacher, that's where you can do that. And down here are personalization options. So we have texting, stickers, drawing, uh, a whiteboard, and filters. So what you're doing is you're personalizing your video to yourself and developing that confidence and self-identity, okay? Another cool thing within the filters thing uh, tab is for students that do not want to be uh, shown on camera, you can come in here and hit filters, hit the little alien, and it blurs everything out, okay? So that's a pretty cool thing to allow those students to do this as well, all right? So I want to clear everything out. 
when I'm ready to post, so if I'm the student and I'm ready to post, I'm gonna hit the record button. It does a countdown. And from here, we answer the question. I feel the number 43 does not belong because it is a prime number. So I'll hit pause. And then if I'm satisfied, I'll click next. When I click next, all it's going to do is replay the video I just did. Okay. Good question. I feel the number 43 does not belong because it is a prime number. Okay. That's all it did was replay your recording. If you're satisfied, you'll hit next again. From here, you're going to take a selfie. So what this is when it's being turned in, the teacher is not going to see the student's name, but rather see the student's picture or the selfie. If you are that student that does not want their picture taken, utilize something like a, um, be creative, utilize like a stuffed animal or something that, uh, and let your teacher know that that symbol uh, ties in uh, to you. So from here, we're going to take a selfie. So let's take the selfie. Again, great picture. Um, and then from here, we're going to hit next again. Okay. And all this is saying is you're going to submit your video. This is your display name. Um, so that can be, you know, your first dot initial, your first and last name, just your last name, however you want it to be. Okay. And then you hit submit video. And now it says, congrats, I submitted my video. So if I come over back to my Flipgrid as a teacher, I see and reload this assignment, I'll see that I have one response and who it is. And you see there's the selfie pic, there's the name, and it tells you how many others have viewed it. So not only you can view it as a teacher, but other students can view it as well and provide insight, you know, help and you're kind of collaborating with each other and allowing the kids to collaborate with one another. So if I click on questions, I feel the number 43 does not belong because it is a prime number. Okay, so I heard the response, all right? And now I'm gonna provide feedback. So ideas, we're gonna give it a three. Performance, we'll give it, because I answered it, uh, we'll, we'll do both threes. And here I can provide feedback so I'll just hit great job and from there I can send that feedback from a teacher standpoint in a link but I want to encourage if you're a teacher and you use this to email the feedback because now you have like a, tr uh, a um, paper trail um, for, for both you and the student so I'll email the feedback and quickly it says feedback is sent and if I'm the student and I go check my email, you'll see that I have my feedback from the instructor. So it says three out of five in terms of performance, three out of five in terms of quality, and comments are a great job. Along with, there's my selfie pic and all that good stuff. It tells you what, what I assigned, you know, when I turned it in, um, you know, and gives you that um, information so Again, a great paper trail for you as a student or a parent, as well as a teacher. So that in a nutshell is um, Flipgrid. And, and, and again, I think it's a great tool for teachers to use as well as you know, students to use because it provides that identity and, and better um, way of getting your your point across. I know growing up, it was tough for me to write down my response, but easier for me to explain it verbally. And that's what and Flipgrid allows that to happen. Again, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to continue providing apps uh, for not only you as students and uh, te and parents on how to use them, but also the teachers. Um, you know, as for when you do your collab meets if you're doing virtual and, and things of that nature and that way to help you guys out to provide insight and you know it's especially great for first year teachers again guys i want to thank you for joining me if you enjoyed this content be sure and leave it a like below as well as feel free to subscribe to the channel as it helps things out tremendously i hope you have a great day guys i want to thank you again for joining me this is chris aka the clever guru have a great day and have a great remainder of the week. Peace out, guys.
Oh, 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 oh,